Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotech Solutions team. I am Sanjay. In this video session, we will see some settings function which we will do to register our settings to theme options page. In the last video session, we have made a theme options menu tab to our theme okay guys and this is our part 3 if you are a beginner from this video session then I strongly recommend to watch my part 1 and part 2 before starting this video session because in our previous video session I have discussed about the introduction part of theme options panel and also we have seen how we register a menu page at admin panel so this is the theme options tab guys that we have made in our last video session just click on that so this is the statement that we have written so far so as we go on functions.php then you can see here we have written statements for that so in this video session we are going to learn about settings function how we use setting functions to register our setting so just remove the statements and in this function guys we have to link actually we have to link our custom settings so before using settings function like add settings section add settings field and register setting before using these functions you have to read the documentation section of these functions WordPress guys has provided a lot of functions definition into great detail if you want to read to your documentation dot developers.wordpress.org so step by step we will see the functions definition of each and every function so it's add setting functions add setting functions guys it's a function which provides the area to register your settings suppose if you want to fill if you want to keep water for drinking then in that condition we need a bucket we need a storage area where we put water and store there so add setting section is a area where we register our settings so what are settings suppose we want to put some statements some input where input taking value suppose we want to put some input type text input type password input type email so these are the input types nothing they are the materials which we want to store so to store those values we need a area to store them so add setting section just make a area area provider and these are settings provider okay guys settings provider to store values of user and this to store settings field so to add your setting to this page means if you want to add this setting to this section then we have to use register setting function means this is an area which is basically used to add your settings but before using this function you have to keep in your mind to use register setting register setting function directly use this setting to add into this section and this is the guy service provider to store values of user and this is service provider to store settings of your fields okay guys so before using this function we have we are going to see some documentation section of suppose something add settings section you okay guys so add settings section is here you can see so add settings section basically takes these parameters suppose it's something like id title callback and page so step by step we're going to use copy of this function go to your functions.php file now here we are going to register our theme options panel theme options settings page okay guys so let's make a function theme options setting so first of all you have to make an area to use your setting so to use to make those area add settings function basically use to make that area to register your settings first parameter will take the id of the setting field area field so first string you have to pass the id of your area suppose i want to pass section okay guys for now i am using the section name it's an id id of setting section 
and the second parameter that we have to pass something like title then we need to pass so just give to the name something like all page and the next parameter that we have to pass and the third parameter we need to add a callback function for that so it's an area in this condition we don't need any specific callback for this function it's a callback function and this is the it's suppose title and the next parameter is a big page the page we will use theme options okay theme options so this is nothing this is the page or you may say it's a slug for that so add setting section basically takes these parameters to register an area for your settings field what does this go to this code basically provides an area where you can register your fills so this is the step one that you have to make first and second step so what we will do in second step in second step you are going to use function of add settings fill you have to make use of this function to make your settings field just copy of that and paste it here so add settings field guys it takes also some parameter first of all it will take the id title callback function page section and argument so step by step you can see the documentation here as you can see id equal to slug name is identify the field title formatted title of the field callback function page so now, now we are going to use these all ids so it's an id it will take the first parameter it's an id suppose we are going to register something like our channel name for, for now suppose channel name is the id for that and it's a taken title so title is channel name in the setting field we are going to take the value of channel name and the callback function so save just display channel name is the callback function for that page so in which page guys we are going to see this function so this is the page here is the page you can see theme options of setting so we need to register this setting into this page ok guys then copy of that and paste it here and the next parameter is section so in which section you are going to register this so this is the section just copy of that and paste it here so this is the setting fail guys you have actually made for your first settings and also you need to define your callback function just copy of that and paste it here and here we will take some input values input type text and it will take suppose the name of channel and it will a text box something like input type text name something like txt name channel name and here is value and Control us to save and also we need to pass the ID of this suppose something like txt channel name just copy of that and paste it here so this is the function which actually called while register this setting so all we have done step 2 first step we have registered the area second one we have registered the setting and now the third step we need to add this setting to this area step 3 now we need to add this setting to area ok guys means channel name this setting means channel setting 
we need to add into our area that we have defined so all we need to use register setting okay guys and before using this function you should go to documentation section and you need to study the documentation part of this function okay guys it will take some parameters as you can see option group option name and argument here so you can read the documentation section of here so to use register setting we need to pass first parameter the section means in which area we are going to store this setting just copy this section paste it here and the second parameter we need to pass the setting name its channel name just copy of that and paste it here so this is how we have registered our first setting to our area first of all we have defined our area second step we have defined our setting and third we have registered our setting to that area guys so all we have to need three different settings this is channel name just copy of that is it here we need to take like facebook url facebook url and the area should be same and page will be same just copy of the callback function define here and this also takes the URL value of user input type text name equal to txt fb url id will be txt fb url and values will be blank for now control is to save we have made our second setting and now we need to register the ID of the setting just paste it here so this is how we have sorry guys just copy that and paste it here so this is how we have registered two different settings first we'll take the channel name and the second will take the Facebook URL so third setting we need to take some suppose Twitter URL Play Twitter URL and the parameters will be the same. All we need to define this callback function. Just you need to add it here. Copy this text, paste it here. And it will take suppose texty Twitter URL. Copy that and paste it here. So we have used, we have made three different settings, and also we need to register. Copy of the ID, sorry, copy of the ID and paste it here. So we have registered three different settings filled into the section area. And where is the section area? Section area here we have registered so far. So step by step guys, I have explained each function into its great detail. In the description section, I will drop the documentation section of these all functions. Okay guys, so these all functions we have seen according to its parameter. So I am reviewing what the parameters it will take once more. First one, as you go to the documentation section, then you can see it will take the ID. So this is this is the ID of this area, known as ID, and this is the title of this area. And here you need to pass the callback function while we call this function. So for now, we don't need any callback functions for this. So we need to pass either blank or null value for now. And this is the page page title of this section area. All in the second step, we need to register our settings. 
so this is our setting id setting title callback function and this is the theme options which actually comes from section area and theme options as you know it's a page name page title or you may say slug of this area and section this is the section where we are going to register our settings and to add this setting to add the setting to this area we need to add third function and the third function should be register setting so this function helps to add our setting to area and uh, these are the callback functions so in this video session we will have we will have seen guys and in the next video session we are going to see these actually settings that we have registered so far into this page so let's, let's refresh that we didn't get any errors for now so in later in next video session we are going to see these settings into this area and if you have any query for us and if you want to any extra resources from us then please drop comment to the comment box i will give my reply as soon as possible guys for this video session thank you for watching have a great day